Welcome to another episode of the Valorant Tips and Tricks sent by you series. A series where I show Valorant Tips and Tricks that you guys send to me. Like always, I'll be giving away a battle pass to a random submission. So if you got any cool tricks, feel free to send them in the Lowlander Discord server. Before I start, I want to say a quick thing. Like I said in last video, I'm in Mexico right now. So this might sound a bit strange, but future Amardo, enjoy your time in Mexico. And now let's start the video. Let's start this video with the trick on Breeze. If you go to these boxes over here and stand all the way on the right of it, you can actually look all the way to B elbow. If you're using this trick of course make sure that your teammate is holding a otherwise the enemies might push behind you and that's not very good but it's a sneaky spot to get the enemies as we probably all know on lotus if you shift walk off the ramp you won't make any sound but even though you don't make any sound the q ability of deadlock thinks otherwise it doesn't matter that you don't make any sound when you go off the ramp the ability will spot you so make sure to use it over here it's a good spot in last episode i showed that you could use your sage wall over here and a teammate could jump on your wall and it's always nice to see that some people are actually using the tricks i showed in the video i know most of you are forgetting the tricks when the video ends. But not Snuggly Puppy, look at this clip. Enemy no counterplay for Yoru over there. Now a tip from a real MVP of this channel, a long time supporter and the sponsor of this video, Valorant Tracker. Here's the tip, do you want to get an edge over your enemies in every game you play from now on? Then use the app Valorant Tracker. Why you might ask? Well the app has tons of features that will help you improve in Valorant and win more games. One example is the live match data. When you hop into a game you can see the ranks and stats of your teammates and enemies and this information is very useful for your games. Now you know for who you have to be careful of and maybe even who you have to follow and heal if you play Sage for example. During the game you also get a nice in-game overlay and a live scoreboard with way more statistics. And this is just one feature of the app. When you open the app you can also find tons of stats about how many aces you got, your accuracy, weapon stats, map stats, agent stats, stats on the timeline, detailed match history, it's all there my friends. You can even go to the guide section and find guides for your favorite agent. If this sounds interesting to you, you could download the app with the link in the description. And the cool thing, Valorant Tracker is completely free. So no excuses my friends, good luck in winning games games with Valorant Tracker and now let's continue the video. Let's continue with the simple yet very effective Viper trick. For those who watch the Viper 2 Ascendant series know that I love to use this wall over here. When you use it, it will cover both CTs and it's a nice way to enter a site. But here's how you can combine this wall with your ultimate. Make your way towards elbow, clear the site and go to this corner. What you then gotta do is aim somewhere over here inside your wall. It's very easy once you've done it once and use your ultimate. Why is this ulti good? Well first of all you can plant a spike in your ult, but the main reason why it's good is that you can sneak towards CT and hide behind the corner on the right over there. There's no way that the enemies will expect you over there and when you hear the defuse simply use your molly and easy peasy win for you. Now let me show you a nice gecko lineup on Breeze. Stand over here and aim on that tile of the arch. When you throw it it will land on the spike. It's like a boring simple lineup actually but the main reason why I wanted to include this in this video is because of the live reaction of flavor. This is what Valorant is supposed to be my friends having fun. One yeah! <laughs> <laughs> it's been a while since I've seen people so happy of clutching around and that's where it's all about my friends. What are you saying? Are you struggling with clutching rounds? Well no worries, here's an OP killjoy retake that you can use on sunset. What you gotta do, first place your killjoy ultimate over here and when you do that there's only one spot where the enemies can hide. So what you gotta do, place your ultimate and hold a little bit. Maybe the enemy's gonna push, try to destroy your ulti and when nobody is pushing do a running throw against that wall over there. Your nano swarm will land exactly in the air bubble of the enemy and you can peek with it, easy easy kills. If you ever hear race and you hear the enemy race using her ultimate, it's never a waste to use your satchel immediately. It's a perfect way to dodge the ulti, just look at this clip. Well played Eraser, nice dodge my friend. Now let's go to Breeze and talk about this spot over here. It's called Hall. Honestly, from all the Valorant maps, I think this is the spot I really don't understand. Before the map reworked, you could walk through over here. But now I think it's one of the most useless spots in the game. So this is more a question than a tip. Do you actually use this trap door or this moving door over there? Let me know in the comments down below. Meanwhile, did you know that the Yodo clone can still walk through Hall? I know, very useless, but uh, cool to know. This is also cool to know. If you block your teammates in the trap door, then nobody can move get out of it and if the trapdoor closes then one teammate might get stuck in it look at this hey, I'm a <laughs> I have no idea what Aryan said, but it sounded like he has a good time. Did you know that you could place your cypher cam over here? When you go to these boxes, jump a little bit, you could place your cam behind the fence. This one might be a bit hard for the enemies to destroy, so you can look to the enemies sneaky peeky like. And while we're talking about cypher, here's a cool cypher trick you can use in the post plant on bind. It's very situational, but if you think you got enough time, go to this spot in the post plant, and you see this ledge over here, try to throw your cage on the ledge. And look at this, you now created a beautiful one way for if the enemies are pushing the defender spawn. Like I said, it's very situational 
additional and it might be a bit dangerous to throw it over there. But if you got information that the less few enemies are B for example, try it out so now and then. Okay, let's take a small break from the tricks and go to the trick shots. I love this part of the video, just look what some people are managing to do in game. Okay, good start, nice one tappies. But now look at this no scope. Let's go. Oh, but that no scope is nothing compared to this true trick shot. Look at this. Let's get it. Uh, Spike down one. mid. Last player standing. Oh, what? <laughs> yeah, well played, dude. And the last trick shot, some Egypt sent it in 10 knife kills. I'm not gonna show 10 knife kills, but I'm gonna show you six. And which one is your favorite? <laughs> Back to the tricks. Let me show you a nice Astra tricky. On sunset, try to plant the spike all the way in this corner over here. Then go to main and place two stars under the spike. I think you see where I'm going. When the enemy is defusing the spike, use your black hole and the enemies will get yeeted over the edge. So all you gotta do is use your stun on the second star, peak, and easy win for you. And while we're on B, by the way, if you are not playing Astra, consider planting the spike on this box over here. It's actually a very good planting spot. First of all, it's very easy to hold from either main or mid. And secondly, if the enemies are pushing from CT, they actually won't be able to see the spike immediately. It's a bit too low for that. So they need to walk to the right, walk all the way around, waste a lot of time. And even when they are down there, it's still hard for them to see the spike. Okay, okay, let's do one more planting tricky over there. Instead of planting on the ledge, on the box, you could also plant it down. And when you do that, you can place your sage ball like this and you create a nice little one way. Lots of options with a lot of different agents. So what I would say, do what feels good. By now, we all know the Acrid the Dog TikToks, right? The sneaky cypher players that are chilling in a small part of their cage. I got good news for you, you could also do this trick with Omen. Here on Bind, for example, place your smoke over here. It looks a bit like you smoked off lamps and the enemies might not expect it. Look at the clip from player Indo 10. Player standing. Let's go back to sunset. Here's a nice sage one way you can use. Simply jump off this edge, place your wall, and look at that. A beautiful one way, my friends. The enemies will actually be able to see a little bit, but they have way less vision than you. So you have the advantage if you use this wall. Now a trick made in paint. Thank you, Makaira. You can pause if you want to check it out. And let's move on. Now a trick how you can get those Valorant e-girls. <laughs> okay, I have no idea why I showed this clip. Do we have more tricks? Show me some tricks. Oh yeah, on Breeze, you can use your own smoke on the bridge and you create a one way look at this one enemy remaining and here another one way this time on sunset clip your smoke in the wall and teleport on these boxes one enemy remaining Nice ace omen, and while we're talking about aces, look at this ace from Neon. I think the finger of Funny He Cool is stuck to the W button or something. But it worked out. <laughs> it's uh, actually pretty funny. Look at this. That's one kill, and he just keeps walking, walk around the container, goes to middle, sees another one, and then... But you gotta keep walking, right? Fear! Walk, 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 tap, tap, tap. I walk around this thing, and I see another enemy. One enemy remaining. And now starts the journey around the whole map from middle under the tunnel. While he's walking, you have the time to subscribe if you like the video. All the way to the back of sight. And there's the last enemy. <laughs> and look at that. The video is 8 minutes long now. Now I can make the monies to spend in Mexico. Nah, just kidding, of course. But thank you so much for watching. Big thanks to everybody who submitted their tricks. I want to thank everybody so much for the support lately. And i see you guys in the next one. Peace.